Hello everyone, I am Sergeant First Class Aaron Scott from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and the E-flat clarinetist of the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. This video today is going to be the first of three installments on our warm-up series. Specifically, I'm going to cover breathing techniques, reminding of fundamentals, an exercise using just the barrel of the clarinet, and then end with a long tone exercise. So whether you're a beginner or a professional, warming up is important. You need to warm up before you practice for the day, before your rehearsal, and also before your concert. So no matter what you're doing, you have clarinet in your life for the day, you need to start thinking about your warm-ups. And what is the basic of warm-ups? Well, breathing. I know that we're breathing day in and day out with really little thought about it, but I like to start my, my day either in the morning when I'm getting ready to go out the door or while I'm on the road on the commute. I start really focusing in on my breathing. And I like to just think how I'm inhaling and then how I'm exhaling. And to really focus on this, I give myself a tempo and breathe in for four counts and then exhale for four counts. And so then I'm really aware of the tension in the shoulders that I might be holding anywhere in the upper torso or even in the neck. And so as I'm doing these simple breathing techniques, I start trying to release that tension and just relax my upper body. Once I get to that point, I then will challenge myself to extend not just four counts, but can I inhale for eight counts and exhale for eight counts? Then can I inhale for 12 counts and exhale for 12 counts? All while maintaining nice steady airstream. So I encourage you to begin that. And as you're doing that, notice if there's any tightness in your upper chest, maybe on your sides. As you're expanding, you should really be thinking about your torso expanding in the front, on the sides, and in the back. And then as you're exhaling, you're using all of those muscles to push the air out with that steady stream. Then if you're able to, you can even use a metronome along with your drive just to really challenge yourself. All right, so now moving on to the barrel exercise, what I like to do by the time I get my clarinet out, I'm just going to take a couple breaths in and exhales while actually having both sets, my upper teeth and my lower teeth on top of the barrel. So they're actually gonna go over top of the barrel. And I'm just gonna breathe in and then breathe out. There's no time to this. You're just inhaling as much air as you can and exhaling. And putting your teeth over the barrel is actually gonna open up your mouth more. It has your jaw set wider than normal for clarinet and it's gonna open up your throat. But you're really just getting that inhale so you can really expand your lungs at full capacity and then exhale all at once, like so. And so I make sure I tell my students, never do this more than three times in a row. You can make yourself a little lightheaded if you do too much with those surge of oxygen going into your body. So do just a couple times, take a break, keep that nice pattern of good slow breathing in and exhaling, and then return to the barrel just a couple more times. So you should feel as you're doing those inhales and exhales, that nice expansion of the lungs. That's the important key factor of this installment, really focusing in on our breathing. By the time we get all of that done, you are now ready to play your first notes. Let's assume you have a great read, you're set up, there are no issues there, you can just do your nice long tone series. Well, to keep it simple, I like to start at the bottom of the instrument and then work my way up. And what I do is start on that low E and I'm gonna sustain at a nice comfortable dynamic. It doesn't have to be super soft yet, but just something where the reed responds, you're not playing too soft or too loud. And then what I want you to do is hold for eight counts and you're going to crescendo up to that eighth count. And then you're gonna start the diminuendo once you hit that ninth count and come all the way back down. So it's 16 counts total. We're gonna to set the metronome to 60 and you're gonna sustain those notes with a small crescendo and a small diminuendo on a low E. Here is the metronome. As I'm doing this, I like to make sure I count myself off and I'm breathing in for two. So if we think in four, I'll breathe on three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. 
let it fade away. Exhale any air that you have at the end of that. If you're realizing that you have a lot more air than you than the 16 counts, then extend just a little bit more. And then what I like to do is go up chromatically. So the next note will be F. And I'm gonna try to start just a little softer. So you can gradually go up the clarinet chromatically. You can also do it diatonically if you don't have time for that many notes. And you wanna to try to get through all of the registers. So at least trying to extend up until that high C above the staff. If you can go further into that with this exercise, it's even greater, but it depends on how much time you have. Okay, this is the first installment of the series. Hopefully you'll check back on the next one.